Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com here today, continuing our journey on firearms ownership. And today we're gonna to be talking about sight alignment and sight picture with both pistol as well as rifle. 30,000 foot view, when we fire our rifle or pistol, we want those bullets, projectiles, to go where we're aiming, which brings us to sight alignment and sight picture. Sight alignment being the relationship of our front sight and our rear sight, whether it is a rifle or a pistol, and then sight picture, which is that sight package, i.e. the relationship with that front and rear sight and where it actually lines up over on our target, which is giving us our sight picture, at which point we can then actually press the trigger and shoot rounds. Keep in mind, I would never shoot this target right here. Simply for the sake of demonstration, this is where I am, this is where the target is. Going back to those four weapon safety rules, be aware of your target, foreground, and background. That's a whole lot of unknown. I would not shoot out that way. We want something solid like a burn behind us, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into side alignment. When it comes to side alignment on our pistol, we're looking at that relationship between our front sight and our rear sight. Most pistols are set up similar in that they have a rear sight with a notch and a front sight. So how do we need to line those up? With our pistol, we have that rear notch and we have our front side post. And so looking from your perspective, we have this notch right here and then we have our front side post. And what we're trying to do is line this up. We want to get this lined up both vertically and horizontally. So when we look through that rear notch, we want it lined up across the top and we want equal amount of space right about there between this side and this side. That is going to give us proper side alignment. If for whatever reason, this is shifted off like that and we have more space on this side, it means your barrel is pointed in that direction. So our round is gonna go in that direction. Conversely, if it's over here, means our barrel is canted this way, round's gonna go that way. Or if this is up, it means your barrel is actually tilted like this. Round's gonna end up going high. Same thing, this down here. The round is going to end up going low. So what we want with sights like this on our pistol is we want it to be lined up vertically as well as horizontally. Same amount of space on either side of our front sight post and lined up straight across the top. What if I have three dots? Two on the rear sight, one on the front. Ignore those. They can be helpful situationally, but they are not gonna help you align your sights so much as getting that good vertical or uh, vertical and horizontal lining up of the sights. But what if we are shooting a rifle and it does not have that rear notch in the back? Probably has a peep sight, which is a circle. And we have a front sight post. There may well be kind of a hood back here protecting our rear sight. Same with up front, some wings coming up so this doesn't get banged around. But what we're gonna do is we're still going back to vertical and horizontal alignment as far as our sight picture, but this time what we're trying to do is looking through the rear aperture, we want to get this lined up vertically and horizontally. If, again, this is over this way, what it translates to is the barrel over to the right, which is where it will then impact, or if this is over this way some, it's going to end up impacting over to the left. So we want, again, this is gonna be high, this is gonna be low. We want our front sight post centered vertically as well as horizontally in that rear aperture. That will put our rounds impacting, once we zero this thing, that will put them impacting right here, right at that front sight post, which is where hopefully we are aiming. Now that we have an idea what sight alignment is, what is sight picture? It is taking that sight alignment Good side alignment, level across the top, equal amounts of light on either side, this being pistol sights, and putting it exactly wherever we want it on our target. Mind you, when we are aiming at things, we want to aim for something very specific, like maybe where this comes to a point right there. That is where I want the center of my front sight. I want that basically to line up perfectly maintaining good side alignment right there, which 
If I do my part, then with the trigger press, my bullet will go right there. And so sight picture is taking that sight alignment and transposing it onto your target. What if I'm shooting a rifle? Those same things apply. I'm taking my good sight alignment, centering my front sight post vertically and horizontally in that rear sight aperture, and then I'm putting it over wherever I want to shoot, high thoracic cavity. I'm lining this up so that the top of my front sight post is lined up with wherever I want those rounds to impact. To be honest, it sounds really simple. I line this up with the rear sight and I press the trigger, the bullets go where I want. It is very simple. It is not very easy though. Simple concept, hard in execution. Part of what makes it hard is our eyes can focus on one focal plane. What does that mean? If you're looking at something, you choose whatever you wanna focus on. So with respect to this pistol, if I aim, well, I can only choose one thing. So if I'm aiming at my camera, my camera being the target, I can either look at the target and have that in focus, or I can look at the rear sight and have the rear sight in focus, or I can look at my front sight and have that in focus. Those are three different focal planes that I basically have to figure out which one I'm gonna focus on. What's the solution? We split the difference. We go with a nice, clear front sight or front sight post on your rifle. So our eye may jump back and forth between those different focal planes, but before we actually break our shot, once we refine our sight picture and our sight alignment, we make sure this is nice and clear in this, which is going to admittedly be a little bit blurry and our target beyond it will probably be a little blurry. It won't be in focus, but as long as this is in sharp focus and we have that side alignment and that side alignment is transposed over our target with our sight picture, as long as we do a good job pressing the trigger, that bolt will go right where we want it to. What does it look like? Kind of like this. We have our rear sight and we have our front sight, which is actually in focus. And we go ahead and line up our front sight in between the notch of our rear sight. And then we take that sight alignment and we get our sight picture. We line up the top of our front sight where we want that bullet to impact. What about if we have a rifle? Same thing. We have our rear aperture and we bring our front sight up and we line it up vertically and horizontally. And then at that point we get our sight picture, whether we want a round to impact high in the thoracic cavity or up basically right at the bridge of the nose. I will say people often have an easier time shooting through iron sights on a rifle than sights on a pistol. Why is this? A couple different things. One, when we are shooting rifle, we have more points of contact, usually can create kind of a more stable shooting platform, and we have a longer sight radius, which is reference of the distance from your rear sight to your front sight. Obviously, much longer on this rifle than on this pistol. And because of that, it usually is a little easier to refine that front sight post in the rear aperture versus this front sight in that rear notch. Keep in mind, a very little movement, pretty easy to detect looking through these sights, whereas you can actually end up with a fair amount of movement and it can be hard to detect through these sights because how close that sight radius is. What if instead of, or in addition to, sights on our pistol or our rifle, we have a red dot? Well, it makes life easier. Rather than moving back and forth between those three focal planes and finally having good hard focus on our front sight to get our sight alignment, we jump straight to sight picture. We keep our focus on our target and we take that red dot and we put that dot wherever we want our rounds to impact. And as long as our weapon is zeroed with that red dot and we have a good trigger press, that round will go exactly where we're looking. That right there wraps up our sight alignment and sight picture for both rifle as well as pistol. Be sure to join me as we continue the journey. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.